Another day is dawning, a new song on the air. A brand new hope is forming, adventure take me there. It's a new day for me. I feel it in my bones, I feel alive, I am set free. It's a new day for me. And nothing in this world will interfere. This is my year. I've been watching closely now, been looking for a sign. Jackie Miller teaches first grade here at Brevard Elementary. The special thing that I think she brings to the table is um, her heart for the students. She loves her kids. It comes across um, very easily. She is really engaged with them and gets to know them, and it's, it's just a very special bond that they have. The kids bring new energy to me because they look at the world in a different way. Um, they look at it through eyes that are innocent and fresh, and they they help me to do the same thing and that is a, a real gift that they've given me. They know that she is on their side and she's going to fight for them. I think right now the children need adults to listen to them, to share with them, to talk to them, to um, encourage them, to teach them how to talk to each other, um, to teach them how to interact and to be responsible, to be independent thinkers. As a principal and as a parent of students in Transylvania County, I want my own kids to have a teacher like Miss Miller who has a welcoming quality about her, who loves her students, and really treats them as individuals and grows them as a whole person. I want my children to remember from this classroom how much they're loved and how much faith and hope and belief I have in them. Ms. Clark is a very caring teacher. She's very um, efficient because of her clear expectations and her consistency in her room. And that's why other teachers look up to her and look up to what she is doing in her room. And I think that's important is to get to know each and every child and their situation and be able to plan around that and know that I'm not just a teacher. You're given a set of standards to teach, but whenever you get in your classroom, it's a lot more than just teaching those standards. I mean, they're the future of our country. So I feel like it's more responsibility as a teacher than any other profession because we're teaching the next generation of politicians, the next generation of doctors, and the next generation of teachers who are gonna teach the next generation. And I just feel like it's important to really train them to grow up to be those amazing adults. When Miss Clark goes into her room, she that is her stage. That is where she performs and she does it for her students and her students are actively engaged watching to see what Miss Clark is going to do. She is such a good teacher at differentiating and working with each student's strengths and weaknesses and bringing out the best in each one of her students and pushing them to grow no matter what their background is, no matter where they come from, she is able to get high growth out of all of her students. I hope that whenever I'm at my retirement that I can look back and reflect and know that um, I was more than just a teacher. I made a difference. If I were to tell you about Mrs. Shook's energy, I would use the word boundless because she really has a heart and a passion for kids and she frames her classroom, her work, her lesson planning and how she views the curriculum as what is best for my children. I think my favorite thing about teaching is that light bulb that you see go off and the smiles you see on their faces when they're learning something new. I think to balance the needs for all my children, I give all of them high expectations. There is not a child that walks in my room and thinks, well today I'm not going to be asked to do as much because I had a hard time last night at home. I make sure that they know that I expect the best from them because I think they are the best. That I want them to walk in and have a sigh of relief because they know what's expected. They know that I love them, 
and they know that they're going to get exactly what they need throughout the day. The best part about Ms. Shook's teaching is her guided reading lessons. Her whole group is incredible. She engages with the children, gets them excited, and pumps them up to become and continue being the best readers they can be. The biggest compliment I can get from a parent or from a student is I love coming to school. So I think my favorite part about teaching is just really getting in these small groups with my kids. So if I look at myself 20 years from now, I think I'll have to continue to remind myself that there'll always be outside factors. There'll always be testing or there'll always be extra paperwork that I don't want to take home with me. But what there will also always be are those kids that I love so much and seeing their excitement and their energy and their love for learning will be something that I think can drive me on forever in education because that never gets old. When I walk into Ms. Ballard's classroom, the children in her classroom are smiling and they're laughing and they're learning. In her classroom, she creates an atmosphere of creativity. She lets the children know that it's okay to uh, not be right or wrong. In an art class, that's critical, and she just has a real knack for doing that. Art is an opportunity for kids to be creative. In the classroom, they're constantly being told there's one right answer, especially with multiple choice and standardized testing. There's only one right answer to them. Math comes out with one right answer, things like that. In here, there's a million answers, a million answers. And I can give every child the same project and every last one of them comes out differently because their brains are so different. And that's the beautiful thing about it. Elizabeth is one of those people who leads through her actions. She doesn't necessarily always put herself out there as a leader, but I think she unconsciously does it. She's a natural born leader. And through the, all of the activities that she participates in and promotes within our school and our community, she sets herself apart as a true leader and she shines at it. I, I know I've succeeded when they grin at you, oh, the hugs, oh my God, that's the best part of it. When they come up and go, thank you, Miss Ballard, I'm, and they give you the biggest hugs. Oh gosh, it gives me goosebumps when they give me hugs because I know that they really mean it. Miss Griffin is well-deserved Teacher of the Year, and, and what separates her from the average teachers is that she's willing to go that extra mile. Um, that energy, that positive attitude that she brings every day, uh, and I guess the biggest part is the relationship, what she is willing to do to develop those relationships. I've really tried to keep the students engaged in their learning, and one way we do that, or that I do that, is playing different games, but it also gets them truly engaged in their learning and collaborating with other students and finding their own mistakes and what they're doing and teaching one another, whereas I kind of just get to watch the learning happen and they have lots of fun. You're not sitting there and, and just doing work. You're up and moving. You might be working with a partner, you might be working with teams. Uh, you're throwing things at the, at the chalkboard, uh, playing games. I feel like I'm able to bring other people's strengths to the table, somebody who may not volunteer or feel like they have a role, um, but helping to pick out and show them that they are a part of the team and that they have so much to contribute to what's happening. Most people kind of give you a weird look when you say you teach middle school, um, but it really is a great group of kids and there's something new happening every day. Kids typically have an innate curiosity. They want to learn. That is where the effective teacher comes into play. Sarah Reed's very effective at guiding that curiosity. I think the things that make a great teacher great is their impact on student lives, um, not just a student's education, but their life after their formal education is over. As a teacher, setting expectations for my students is vital because I believe that my students will rise to meet my expectations, and that's different for every student. But being able to understand a student's background and where they come from really impacts the goals that we set together about what a student can accomplish. She's all about service and selflessness and support of her fellow teachers and students. She's the quiet, 
smooth undercurrent of our building that just sustains us. She's our utility player. So we can put her anywhere on the field or on the court. She's effective. It's only when we open ourselves up to that human connection with our students that I feel like we can be inspired and we can inspire our students. The impacts that we can make as teachers, that I can make as a teacher in my student's life, may not have anything to do with sixth grade social studies, but it has impacts that could last them the rest of their lives and in turn their children's lives and future generations after that. We have many students for whom school has just not worked. The school system has not figured out how to motivate these kids. They come to Davidson River School, begin with Mr. Russo, and the spark is reignited. My students uh, have to reset the bar that they work at, and that starts when they first come, uh, even the short-term students. Uh, the bar has to be set higher than they themselves set. Uh, this is a school of opportunities, and it is an opportunity when I have a new student. What other job is there when you can get such great satisfaction out of helping produce a better world through improving our students? He's known throughout Transylvania County as the teacher who will help your child be successful in school. If you work with them one-on-one, -on -one, even though you don't know it, that they become better people. Uh, if you show them love, and compassion and patience, especially patience. Patience is important. And uh, it's amazing to watch them when they become more confident and they get through their senior paper and they've uh, passed a class that was difficult. Uh, it is extremely rewarding. They want to learn again, they feel success, and that success rubs off into other content areas and with other teachers. I'm just so proud of them when they graduate. Uh, it's unbelievable because of all the blood, sweat, and tears that went into getting them through school and what they've contributed to getting themselves through school. John is quite remarkable in that he has such a love of Brevard and a love for our students here. What students say about John Hogan and about John Hogan's classes are they want more. One of the things that I can do as a teacher is to help bring about change, to foment change, by having my students think about the world and also encourage them to care about the world they live in. While John Hogan is a social studies teacher and a history teacher, he is really a historian. I had parents calling me saying, we really appreciate you telling the kids this is what's going on today because they come home and tell me, and now well, I understand it better. What really excites me about being in a high school classroom, everything's genuine, it's right there. Their, their feelings are quite genuine, they're upfront. Sometimes you get a lot more information than you need, um, and you, you learn about their lives. You also have the opportunity to, to watch them grow, and I think that's one of the most, uh, most exciting things about being in the classroom. John Hogan is an extremely passionate educator. He loves teaching and his students know that um, and that's really why they are so enamored with him as a teacher and I think that's why other teachers also respect him. You know I have friends who ask me well how much longer are you gonna do this? What's Well as long as I possibly can. I really enjoy being in the classroom. I truly enjoy the interaction I have with students. Wes brings so much to the table. Wes is a local boy. He went to Rosman, graduated from Rosman, went to college, wanted to come back to Rosman, wanted to get back to the community he got so much from. The thing that draws me most to teaching is the fact that I have an ability to impact people every day, on a daily basis. I get an opportunity to help kids that may otherwise not get help or receive help. It's great to make students feel worthy that they mean something, that they are a part of something. And that's, that's the whole part about the classroom that I, I, I want to try to create is kids are a part of something here. Whether or not elsewhere, they're a part of something here. And I want them to be able to take pride in their work and their accomplishments and their understanding. And I think that's, that's a cool quality to have in your classroom. Kids really appreciate it. And sometimes you feel like you're not making a difference. You're like, well, why am I doing this? Why do I keep doing this? But 
down the road it pays off and sometimes it's not the next day, it's not the next week, sometimes it's even after they graduate that they'll come back and say, hey coach, thanks for believing in me. And that's really cool. His smile comes up and he's just, he's, he sees the learning that's taking place and the light bulbs coming on and he's just getting excited and it just keeps on growing and growing. That's the enthusiasm. That's what we want from a teacher. That's what we want from our kids. I got an opportunity to try to make a difference in people's lives and that's the coolest part about teaching. Whether it's on the field, on the mat, classroom, outside the classroom, you get an opportunity to help somebody and that's the greatest attribute of being a teacher I feel like.